good to be here. I um, this is special for me because you know um, I do what I do to create somebody else's voice, so somebody else will tell their story. And when you're when you when you get to a point when you can tell your story, then you open yourself up for help. And uh, and there were there were kids in there that were willing to do that. Send me a thing on Twitter, please check your emails. So I hustled down to the email and I said, Dear Mr. Heron, me and my boyfriend are still in the gym where you just spoke. I just want you to know that in our backpack today, with two bottles of vodka, two bottles of Valiums, Adderalls, and Tylenols. In our pockets are our suicide letters to our parents. Um, you know, when I speak to kids, I don't want to walk in and be like, don't do drugs. You know, I, I want to ask them why why are you doing it? And I want to validate the kids who don't. And, and, and I think those kids need to be admired. I remember like it was yesterday, man. I remember drinking in the basements where the parents told us we were safe. I remember having a spot way out in the woods where the cops couldn't get to us. And I remember at the end of the night, when it was getting close to curfew, so I was washing my hands, visine in my eyes, gum in my mouth, spraying my clothes so I don't disappoint my mom. I would look across the room down in that basement and I would see my friends that never drank and that never smoked. How come on Fridays and Saturday nights I can't even be myself? And I remember at the end of the night looking at those kids across the room at 2.30 in the morning and saying to myself, we might laugh at them. We might make fun of them. And we might try to get them drunk with us. But reality is those kids have something I'm missing. There's something special inside them that I haven't found. It's great to be back. It's great to see old friends and faces. And, uh, you know, it's, um, it's a great homecoming for me. Because people treat nowadays a lot of times like this is a casual thing, and it's not. You know, it's something that can grab a hold of kids, and I love that he's dealing with the kids and starting at that level. That's where we all need to have our focus, especially in this community. We've got a special community, and if we want it to be special in 10, 15, 20 years, we're going to make sure these kids are getting the right message, and that was the right message tonight. He has, he has great, a great story to share to student athletes about some of the do's and the don'ts, and some things right now that we try to talk about on a daily basis. He's had a chance to live it and to, and to share his experiences and to give that back to the community. It's very huge. What do you think your legacy is at Fresno State? Oh, gosh, who knows? I know. Uh, I wish I gave more. I gave all I could. I wish it was more. but I gave them all I had when I had it, you know?